hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today just to share with you how easy it is to upgrade the asus turf dash f15 which at this moment it's wide open here on the table now i just finished recording my video in portuguese if you want to check it out i will leave a link right over here and also for the unboxing of this beauty right over here which although it's in portuguese i believe that will be a fun video to watch and you probably will learn a few words in portuguese now that being said what i'm going to to do with you is exactly the reverse now let me show you some interesting things right over here this is the rocket 4 plus from sabrent two terabytes this is the fastest ssd on the market right now so if you want to check it out some results i'll leave a link right over here but we'll get up to 7000 megabytes per second on reads and on writes which is just crazy have in mind that this asus in particular only has generation 3 pci slots so that means that we will not get the full potential out of this ssd right over here so you might want to get a sabrent generation 3 which you can also find out on this video right over here we also use 16 gigabytes of ram from s3 plus and 16 are right over here by the way i can show you right now 16 gigabytes of ram which i did remove the 8 that come included now one thing to have in mind is that uh, i thought that we had two slots available but i only found out one which is this one right over here and then after reading asus website i found out that eight gigabytes come integrated in the computer so we cannot touch them and then another eight they come and we can just remove and replace now the only question that i have is that i cannot replace those other two and the asus website mentions that the maximum is 32 gigabytes of ram so my only question at this moment is if i insert a so dim with 32 gigabytes of ram will i get 32 plus the other eight that i've got which i think that's what's going to happen or when I place in the 32, it will eliminate the integrated 8 that come. In this answer, this moment, I can't give it to you. Hopefully, you will get 40 when you insert the 32 because it doesn't make sense to me any other way. But without having a sodium of 32 gigs, I can only guess. Now, this right over here, just out of curiosity, is the one terabyte SSD that comes pre-installed with the Asus. And look at the design. It's really, really awesome. We have the speakers right over here. This really nice battery the pci1 pci2 which we are going to remove it in just a few more two really nice fans right over here with all the cooling system and beneath we'll find the cpu right over here and the gpu right over here so just a awesome awesome design at least for those of you like myself that enjoy to see the inside of tech this is just great and right over here we have the wi-fi module now really quickly before we start disassembling what I did was just remove the screws, which were very easy. I did place them right over here. I'm not sure if you can see them, but I just took a picture. So I will show you that picture. I've got the screws basically on the, on the sides that I did remove them so that it's easier to place them. There are machines that have different size diameters in terms of screws. And if we mix them all together, then when we want to assemble, it's very difficult. In this particular case, they look, they look the same, but not being sure, just a matter of caution i did it like this now i did remove the the ram that was right over here and just inserted the rocket for plus right over here i did test it out works great but as i did mention on my other video i will be testing this laptop as it came from factory i just wanted to share with you guys how easy it is to replace the ram and how easy it is to add a second ssd which is just awesome because we can have one for the operating system and then one to save our videos edit videos and so on and so forth which is really nice that being said let's do the reverse let's start with the rocket 4 plus right over here just need to unscrew this small screw right over here and then once we remove the screw we just need to remove the ssd which is a awesome ssd if you haven't seen the review just check it here just great 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 and let's put back the screw once again because that's basically it this is the reverse that i did on the other video which is great now the ram comes with this protection right over here the only thing that i need to do is to with my fingers press over here it will pop the ram stick and i can put it right over here and then just grab the eight gigabytes that came included so we only have one sodium slot that we can play around and upgrade and it's very easy to remove and very easy to 
uh, put one uh, to upgrade as we can see just need to put it right over here and then push it back it will be grabbed by these two grommets and probably you have seen this somewhere else in the past and that is it basically this is the upgrade that we can do easy as this now the only thing that i need to put back is the cover which is also one new design that asus has and it's really easy to remove and easy to put back as you can see i just need to put it like this this is the last screw that we need to push so we can push all these and then the last screw is what they call pop open screw i believe it's that uh, but i will leave an image on the screen and basically this is it once we screw this one it will get secured and there we go all the screws are back in place so as you could see really really easy now let's pop open this beauty and boot it so that you can see so and there we go uh, as i was adjusting my camera it just booted up as you can see working just fine after a downgrade let's just check it out and before i show you what we have at this moment let me show you on screen what i did record on the previous video which was 24 gigabytes of ram working just fine and then the two discs working fine as well one terabyte on one side and two terabytes from Sabrent rocket 4 plus on the other side now let's check out the empty space so let's go to the properties of the computer and as we can see we have 16 gigabytes of ram so 8 integrated plus 8 that we have on that populated saw dim and if we go to my pc then obviously we only have one ssd right over here and that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful especially to show you how easy it is to upgrade the asus stuff dash f 15. The only thing that I can't give you sure is that if you insert 32, will you be able to get 32 plus 8, so a total of 40, or will be limited to 32 gigabytes? I hope not. I hope that we can get the 40 gigabytes. If any of you try that and you don't mind sharing with us, then leave a comment down below and let us know if you get the 32 plus 8 or if you put 32 and that eliminates 8. Now, regarding the SSD, great. 2 terabytes right over here on the second slot just works awesome. And that is it. If the video was helpful, don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.